a couple of weeks ago on Facebook, I had a piece that had a venue like this. And you ask, how did I do that? Right? Do you remember that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. I know well, you heard uh, it, but good night, you know. Well, uh, let, let, I'll, I'll go through the steps for you if you want me to. Okay. I most definitely. Um, I'll just start off with a, say, one and a half by one and a half a piece of holly, about six inches long. Yes, sir. And then put a tenon on it. Okay. And then I kind of make a little finial, but I'm going to try to keep it between centers as okay. much as a, as possible. And I make this egg shape here, kind of like an egg. Gotcha. And then uh, try to do as much as I can on the finial, but still keep it attached. So I just got to put a point here on this part. And so then I got my bottom part of my finial and then I, I can chuck this up but again and keep it you know between centers yes i don't know if you can see but I, I got lines three lines one in the middle and one about quarter of an inch from each side on the twist right on, on the on the um egg the twisted on the egg oh yeah yeah can you yeah. see is yeah. that better yes all right, then, then I put four lines on it, equal distance. Yep. And then I I drew a pencil line from one to the middle to this side. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, Stuart Mortimer showed how to do this at a symposium several years ago, and I sat through about three or four of his classes because I couldn't understand what he was saying. <laughs> and I and I studied, but anyway, this is what where I came up with this. So anyway, I got these lines like that on there, and that's 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 how the tines are going to be going. Okay. Okay. So then I took a like a quarter inch drill bit, or maybe three sixteenths, and I just started drilling on on those lines towards the middle of the piece, if that makes I, sense. Yep. Towards the middle. So I, I drew all these holes all the way around on, on all the lines like that, okay? Yeah. So it's still on the lathe between the centers, and I'm, draw, I'm drilling those into the middle. So once I get them all drilled out, I take a Dremel, with a long bit uh, that's a tapered bit. Okay. And I just lay it on the side and, and, and clean out those drill holes. So that's what I'm doing here. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. See, I, I left that one, but here I've, I've already been working on it, but these two has got yet to be done. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Wow. Right, then, wow. <laughs> Then, oh, after my. I get it kind of cleaned out, I yeah. take files and stuff and work on the inside and also the Dremel and try to reduce the inside of these, trying to keep these as even as I can. All right? Yeah. So so it's still, it's still mounted between centers. Okay? Yep. yep. All right. So then... Uh-oh. Oh, that's that's the other one. Okay. Uh, then I take uh, with this I take scripts of sandpaper, starting with eighty grit up to four hundred, about a quarter inch, maybe three eighths inches thick, and I put them in here. I don't know if you can see that or not. I put it in here, and then I just kind of I wrap it around these, and then I just kind of do this deal. Yes. So I come up with this. Oh, right. That is awesome. I'm telling you. Wow. But, but the problem is, uh, lots of this, these tines are, are, are side grain, right? Because the grain's going this way, and you just got just slivers of thing holding. So to get this final point on here, I take masking tape, wrap all around here to kind of hold that together because 
I don't want this to twist and break. Does that yes. make sense? Yes, yes. So anyway. And so you finish up just with sandpaper, strips of sandpaper, getting it around there. Yes, and, and and keep working at it. And then in here, take files and stuff and sandpaper, keep working, get all the inside sanded as best you can, which takes lots of uh, elbow grease. And so this is this is Holly. So last last time I'll 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 put uh, black lacquer on these. Gotcha. And um, uh, you know, turn black. And sometimes uh, I'll put a bottom phenyl because if somebody takes it out, they got a surprise. Like oh wow, well, you know. And some yeah. I some I uh, put uh, threads on it that <laughs> can drill down into the hollow form. So that is beautiful. But, How long does it take you to do that? Is that a day, uh, two days, or <laughs> yeah, a couple of days because yeah. sanding these and getting these almost the same, even though there are differences, you you know, of course somebody just looking at it can't really tell unless they really look close. You know, another wood turner, you know, they're gonna look real close, see how well I did. But anyway, that's that's the basic steps. That's that is beautiful. I got a friend uh, in Michigan, Barry Todd. He does that, and I've been wanting to do it for three years, and just you know, didn't get right. much detail. But yeah, uh, that gives me a challenge. That's a great teaching aid you got with all them. <laughs> those those well, are beautiful, Howard. Well, yeah. Barry, Barry's, Barry's Barry's in Ohio, Joaquin. <laughs> Not Barry, yeah. Oh, you're right. He is in Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, we take we take that difference seriously up here. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> this is a little bit bigger. This is made out of maple. Maple's it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough going on maple, but uh, the holly holly works great. Is is holly yeah. softer than the maple? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's softer. Yeah. yeah and it's more forgiving, you know. So where do you so, get your holly? How huh? I mean hard. Holly is hard for us to get unless we order it. Every once in a while, I come up on the holly tree. Somebody's cut down, and I've cut down a few. In fact, this past winter, I lost two holly trees, and so um, we had a hard winter. We had uh, killed a bunch of plants around here. So, so anyway, but well, but I, I like holly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like holly. It's real, you know, white. Holds up good. So uh, anyway, I appreciate many, you sharing that, and I'm sure there's a bunch of other turners that appreciate you sharing it too. Yeah, 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 those yeah. are beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any, any other questions about it or anything? Yeah. Maybe. How, yes. How many of those tines have you got going up on on the? How many of those little? There's um, four. There's four. There's, okay. There's four of them, and uh, see when I lay it out. I lay out. I, I got these horizontal lines. There's four of them. So, what, what I do, I just index it, start at zero, you know. So uh, is the twist 90 degrees apart? Uh, 180. No, you, you, 180. You, you, okay. They're 180. All right. It's, so it start, uh, starts here and goes all the way up. Okay, I see it. Yeah. Okay. You you draw corner to corner on this on the on the rectangles drawn on the piece. Yeah, I just freehand oh, try to draw corner. a straight line from the bottom part. Can y'all see that or not? Yeah, a little bit. The you pencil can... marks are kind of hard to see, but yeah, yeah, they are. But uh, go from here to the middle, and then from the middle to the next one. So that that gives you the one hundred and eighty degrees. Yeah. Gotcha. And okay. But but once you start getting down, to, you know, to this, it's it's real fragile, very fragile because, you know, there's not much holding these things together, and then the last thing when you're trying to put this point on here, I, you know, I, I I wrap lots of uh, masking tape around this part here to kind of hold it together, hope hopefully to hold together, <laughs> and then gingerly take that off. I'm inspired. Yep. They're they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. I just you know Thanks. I had showed one on Facebook, and uh, I think Joaquin had come back and said, you know, I, how how you do that? 
Yeah. So <laughs> I got to think, well, how can I show him how to do this? And so, so that's what I did. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> nice job, Howard. All right. Nice okay. job. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions about it? I know that was too too short of an explanation. And are you are you still rolling with the tide? Yes. Oh my! Uh, All right. Well, we'll talk to you next week then. Oh, okay. Right. That was awesome. That was awesome. Thanks, Howie. I, that, that's that's good info, everybody. And thanks for taking the time laying that out so so you can share Joaquin how to do that.